God, truth, and psilocybin mushrooms. What are your beliefs about the core of our existence? Have you ever taken the time to sit down and question what you believe? It's not easy, is it? We tend to protect ourselves and have a bias towards our own thought. So what does this mean? I'm going to get into what is God, what is truth, and how psilocybin mushrooms relate into all that. But first, a quick personal story. When I was growing up, my mother would take me to church and my father would take me to the mosque. From a very young age, this created a dynamic where I was questioning things deeply. I had to figure it out for myself. Otherwise, I was facing eternal condemnation. I was going to hell. That's what my young mind thought, and that put me in a strive to grow and develop my understanding of what life is. Fast forward to the present, neither of those concern my present beliefs. Why? Self-exploration. This led me to explore new styles of conversation, new modalities of experience, and this led me to the psilocybin mushrooms. My very first psilocybin experience was so profound that there was something that people weren't talking about in this experience. And this compelled me to learn more, to dive deeper and explore and share this with people because it laid me back on the couch as the vision unfolded and showed me how they can help me, how they can help my depression, how they can help me develop as a human being and mature into a loving, compassionate person. This journey was not one experience. This journey was years of work. Not years of psychedelic experiences, but years of personal turning the mechanisms and seeing what works and what doesn't. Doing this over and over again. Terence McKenna was a huge influence upon my early journeys. His quote, you are an explorer you represent our species, and the best thing you can do is bring back a good idea. For the world lacks good ideas, and we are facing a crisis in the world for a lack of consciousness. This urged me to go deeper and continue that path. But as neuroscientist Sam Harris puts it, psychedelics let you know that there is a there, there. Meaning that yoga, meditation, breath work, these other paths, psychedelics give context, give insight into what this exploration is even about and why it's worth pursuing. That's important because otherwise people might, may just sit there in meditation with a sore back and boredom and never get anything deeper out of it. Currently, I claim the position of agnostic. Agnostic meaning someone who does not believe nor disbelieve in God or the nature of existence. Simply that we don't have the tools necessary to answer those questions. Because God cannot be an objective truth. Objective truth meaning something that can be tested and verified over and over again by anybody, anywhere. God is a personal truth, meaning that is true to that person and it may not be true to other people. However, this is how conflict gets started. My theory is that psychedelic experiences catalyze this universal religious mystical experience. And that in this experience, people experience something that is boundless, that is transcendent. However, we all have different cultures and different languages. And when we come back, we feel compelled to share that experience with the world because it's so overwhelming, pours you with joy. However, when we share it, it's in our language and culture and somebody in a different continent, in a different language and culture, we mistakenly think that we are talking about two different things and we butt heads. But it is a core truth inside all of us. So it's important to question what you believe and make sure that your beliefs are based on objective truths. Personal truths are great, but you have to understand when it is a personal truth and that you cannot push that onto others. 
So this message is powerful and profound, but it's what you're gonna do with it. How are you gonna take the time to question yourself and understand deeply through intellectual, rational conversation, but also having the intuition to follow that inner voice that gives rise to emotion and understand which direction you need to go to use your intellectual mind to further develop the path. They go together, my friends. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, do you think all religions stem from a universal experience? Could psychedelics be the catalyst of that? What are your thoughts and opinions on this topic? I'd love to hear. I'm ready to start a conversation. Let's get it, guys. We're out here. Nuggets of wisdom, dipping it in the sauce of God, truth, and psilocybin mushroom. Woo! I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.